Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, registered financial consultant, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to and through retirement and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Now, what I want to talk about today is the average 401k size by age. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because when I go on YouTube and I look under personal finance or I look under investing, there's so many videos that are about the average 401k size. And to me, as, you, as an advisor, I, I really don't get caught up in a lot of that because I really don't honestly care what your 401k size is. You know, when I see clients, my question to them is, can they live off their 401k, right? It's not about how much you have in your 401k. The real question is, can you live off the amount that is in your 401k? And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to I want to do an analysis on the board for you at the end of this, but I want to show you why it doesn't matter getting to a specific number, but it matters getting a plan for you where you live in the country, what your cost of living is, what your expenses are going to be in retirement, what inflation is going to look like for you in 10, 15, 20 years. It doesn't matter if you've got a million dollars, two million dollars, doesn't matter where you fall into the crowd. That's the one thing I want you to, to take away from this. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses, just keep up with you. Don't try to keep up with everybody else around you and what Fidelity is putting out, and what Vanguard studies are coming out or whatever. Just keep up with what you're trying to do because your retirement, your investments, your money are going to be so different from everybody else's. Okay, so let's talk about the average 401k balance by age. All right, and then we're going to look at does that really matter? Okay, so the average 401k balance for a 35 to 44 year old is $214,000. Now below 35, so if you're 35 to 20, the average 401k balance was somewhere around $79,000. But I'm just going to kind of look from 35 on. I'm, I'm not being, you know, I'm 35, so we'll just start there. So 35 to 44 is $214,000. From the age of 45 to 54, the average 401k balance is $418,000. From 55 to 64, it's $570,000. And for 65 plus, it drops down a little bit, $462,000. Now keep in mind, most people retire, they roll their money out of the 401k or they're living on it. So it's usually not growing as fast as it was from 45 to 54, 54 to 65. Now here's what I don't want you to do. Wherever you fall in that range, let's say you're 55 years old, okay, the average 401k balance is 570,000. So let's say you're 55 and you've only got 450,000 in your 401k. Don't beat yourself up. Keep working hard, keep contributing keep investing, right? That's what we want to do. It's not about trying to get to a certain balance. It's saying, is the balance in my 401k going to fit my needs? Now, let me explain to you why I say that. So I took five states and I said, what's the average cost of living in those five states for retirees? Okay, now I, was, I took Florida because that's where we're at right now. I took Tennessee, Texas, California and New York. Now, the reason I took Florida, Tennessee, and Texas is because I did a just a quick Google search of the best places to retire. And Florida, Tennessee, and Texas were the top three on most polls. And then I took California and New York because those are very populous states and I have many clients in those states. And so I wanted to kind of say, okay, let me show you what it looks like to live there. Now, I realize that most of those people are moving out. Many of them are coming to Florida, but let's talk about that. So, if you're in Florida, the average cost of living is $60,000 for a retiree, okay? In Tennessee, it's $54,000. In Texas, it's 58. In California and New York, it's $76,000. Now, why do I bring that up? The reason I bring that up, especially when we're talking about average 401k balances by age, is because depending on where you live, is going to depend on how much money you need to pull out of your 401k. You know, if you live in Tennessee and all you need is $54,000 and you have a million dollar IRA, that's only 5.4% of your 401k that needs to come out as income, not including Social Security. Maybe if you, if you live in New York and $76,000 is how much that needs to come out and you've got a million dollar 401k, that's 7.6%. 
So if you look at the percentages, that's 2% in Tennessee versus New York and 2% over 10 years that's a lot of money and so you've got to look at it and say okay where do I live how much am I gonna need how much am I gonna want and how can my 401k sustain that okay so let me do this on the whiteboard for you let me show you how it works hang on real quick let's go all right, so we're talking about the average 401k balance by age. And now what I want to show you is why I'm not, as a virtual financial advisor, all that concerned about the amount of money in your 401k, whether can you live, can you sustain your lifestyle off of the money in your 401k. So let me do you a quick example. So this is, we're going to do Florida. We talked about Florida, Tennessee, Texas, New York, and California. You know, I'm in Florida, so we're going to talk about Florida. So Florida, the average amount that you need to retire here, okay, just the average. Now, this is from Miami all the way to Pensacola. Obviously, if you're in Miami, it's a lot more than if you're in, you know, Pensacola. But it's $60,000. So let's take a 62-year-old couple, okay, so two people, and they've got Social Security, and they started Social Security at 62 years old. So the average amount of Social Security for a couple at 62 is $2,200. Okay, so $2,260 a month, which comes to $27,120 a year. Okay, so we've got $60,000 as our income need. We've got $2,260 as our Social Security, so that's $27,120 a year. So what we do is we take the 60 minus the 27,120 we're going to get from Social Security and now all we need is $32,880. This is how much income we're going to need from our investments, okay? So now think about this. If you've got a million dollars and all you need is 32,880, that's 3.28%. But here's what I wanted to do for you. I wanted to say, okay, what's the minimum amount you need in your 401k to sustain your lifestyle of $60,000 income needed in Florida with taking Social Security early, okay, which is like 30% less than you would get if you waited to full retirement age, and then you needed this income. What's the least amount of money you need in your 401k? And when I do the, the you know, I do it on my calculator and I backtrack it, here, this is going to, you going, this is going to blow your mind. Four hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars. That's all you need in your four hundred one k at retirement at sixty-two to last in Florida. Now, I'm not telling you this is specific to your situation, but what I'm trying to get you to think about is it's not about how much money you have in your 401k. It's not about the average balance of 401ks at a certain age. It's about does the money in your 401k, can it sustain your lifestyle? And can you live off that for the rest of your life? So instead of trying to hit a million, two million, three million dollars, start backtracking and say, okay, how much am I going to need in retirement? How much am I going to want in retirement? And how much money is it going to take to sustain that lifestyle? Okay, now listen, I, I want to be a little selfish here. I want to throw in a, throw in a little bit of a, an advertisement, I guess is what you'd say. If you would like me to figure out for you how much money you're going to need in retirement, go to my website, yourfinancialekg.com. We can figure that out for you. Fill out your information. There's a little booklet there called The Roadmap to Retirement that you get to download for free. And then we can go through a complimentary retirement analysis to see how much money you're going to need in retirement, whether you live in Alaska, Montana, or here in the great state of Florida. Again, my website, yourfinancialekg.com. And make sure you subscribe to this page so you can stay up to date on all the retirement videos. So I hope this has helped you realize that it doesn't matter how much is in your 401k. It matters can that amount sustain you for the rest of of your life. Again, this was Drew Blackston with your financial EKG. Have a great day. Bye-bye.